My name is Cheryl Williamson, and I'm part of the Texas Cattle Women, or the Wichita Falls Area Cattle Women. I'm also part of the committee that's putting on Cowboy Tree this weekend. Um, usually we have some area for the kids to come and have some activity, some actual hands-on participating. So right over here is our uh, roping area, and I've got a couple of uh, people that will show any kids that want to come up and try to rope the dummy there and get their hand at what it feels like to swing a rope and kind of try to catch something and while they're visiting the chuck wagons and ranger roy and some other activities that because the art show is not going to necessarily interest the little ones as much so i think this is our fourth year of doing um and other years we've had other activities but the roping seems to be the more favorite favorited by the kids and so this year we've just done that because it's so nice out here today so well ranger roy he, um, he comes and gives, uh, we'll talk to the kids about what it means uh, to have the ranger spirit, in other words, what a, what a good citizen is and a cowboy and that, that um, true heart and um, being a good citizen and, and uh, at tune with nature and fellow man. And so he'll be doing some of that with the kids and handing out sheriff's badges. And, and they can also visit with the cowboys in their old tiny check wagon and see what they, how they used to participate or how they used to cook their meals out on the range and sleep in their tents and everything. So. Well, in previous years we've had a coloring where they could color their brands and make up their own brands. And we also, they made butter. Um, in years past, we've had 20 to 30 kids at least come through and try their hand at rope. It's been inside every time. So I think we may need to move back that way just so that you catch them with their parents going in and out that maybe aren't over this parking area. So logistics, we learn. Jan Shores, who is a local bit and spur maker and... Uh, he just had a vision that he, I guess he's, because he's traveled to some other art shows in other towns and competed in those, he was going to some events at the camp and the forum and thought, why couldn't Wichita Falls do the same thing? And so, I think it was five, four or five years ago, they had the first one over at the forum and it was kind of overflowing on the grounds and so that's when they decided the next year to move it down here and make it bigger and his goal was just to make it bigger and better as he was traveling around the country to different shows he thought you know we're right in the middle of cowboy life here why don't we celebrate that and a lot of people today that live in town and right in the middle of beef country don't even realize how, you know what an industry that is in this area